Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah if you're new and we're doing another DIY. We're taking a pair of thrifted pants and turning them into a really cool marble tie-dye effect. So let's get going to the thrift store. My local thrift store is Savers, so that's where I headed. And I wasn't sure what I was gonna get yet. I ended up finding this great pair of Free People pants. The only thing is I wish they were 100% cotton. So this is the before. I'd recommend getting something on the lighter side unless you're planning to use darker colors just to really let the dye do its thing. The list of things you're gonna need. First is fabric dye or tie-dye, so you can buy tie-dye packs. Then you need a tarp, newspaper, trash bags, whatever. The shaving cream, I only ended up needing one. And then you can also buy regular fabric dye. That's what I did and just be conscious of what's synthetic and regular. You might want containers, but I'm just using recycled containers. And then a spatula, fork, and cardboard. I laid out my tarp in the grass and I kept rocks down so it wouldn't blow away. Now I'm taking the shaving cream. I'm outlining my pants so I know how much I'm gonna need to use. You just lift up the pants and start filling in the empty spaces. The goal here is to get about half an inch of the shaving cream. So like you can see here, you want all the spaces to be filled, smooth and consistent as possible. I ended up moving my tarp since it was a little too bumpy in the grass that I was. So the flatter the surface, the better. We're starting with this really pretty rip blue. Then we're trying a synthetic since there's 2% spandex. Then this is a regular tie dye. I'm using water for a powder tie dye. Then I had this old eyedropper, some utensils. So I'm just placing this all over. I'm really not sure how it's gonna turn out. I just wanted to have the colors all together. And then I just take the fork and start kind of mixing them. I didn't want them super tiny swirls. I wanted them a little larger. Then I just take my pants, make sure they're flat and press them in. So I wanted to do the front first since I wanted the color to be a little more vibrant on the front. And then all I'm gonna do is flip it back on the back side. The back came out a little less pigmented, but I still really liked it and I felt like it was really cohesive with the front. So now I'm just spreading out all the color if I had any extra spaces I wanted filled. Then you're gonna take your cardboard, if you have a squeegee, whatever, as long as it's kind of a tough surface, and I'm scraping off all of the shaving cream. So this is what they're looking like. Now I'm gonna scrape the back off. I let mine sit for about an hour plus. The longer you let it sit, the brighter it'll be. And then you put it in the bathtub in cold water and you'll see the color starts coming out. You wanna keep doing that until all the color's gone. Then I threw it in the dryer on delicate for a little bit and then I let them air dry. And this is the final result. I love them, I think they came out so great. Definitely not exactly what I pictured, but I think they're really fun. So can't wait to see how they all come out. Thanks for watching.